what's going on? I'm, uh, I'm four minutes late. I'm always going to be late. It's just the way it goes. I'm just trying to catch up and read the comments here because I just jumped in. Uh, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for all the kind comments. Or I'm still catching up. Holy, so many. I, I'm going to just skip, skip right to the uh, bottom part here and just read. So if there's something you wrote at the top, make sure you bring it back to the surface. If you want me to see it, we'll probably go through the, the chat later and read everything uh, that was mentioned before we sat down. So late to your own party. Yes, we're live. Hey, can you guys hear me? Hopefully. Is there sound? Tell me if there isn't sound. Sounds good. Okay, perfect. Good, 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 good. I'm drinking slush tonight with what what's in here for booze? Um that one is peach vodka. Peach vodka. Mm, nice. So what's shaking everybody? How's it going? Our cold snap is oh I'll turn this off. Our cold snap uh is going away right now it's going to start getting nice and uh it's time to start fishing again i am editing a video here i'll try to turn the camera around and show one little shot here but here you see this i don't know how this will turn turn out but boom next video rainbows oh, rainbows 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 i don't know how it showed up on the webcam or not but it'll be there Brandon Boot and PBY. <laughs> Good one. Yeah. It's always a question. Oh, Webster. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Thank you, good sir. Watch your channel most days. Working remote from the basement. I appreciate it so much. Pro Crush, Pro Crush Angling right there. Mr. 30. Mr. 100K. Yeah, buddy. Cheers, Adam. Pro Crush Angling right there is... Adam Crawford, Mr. 30, as you guys see on the video, a lot. Um, the I, I won't say exactly. I, I don't know if I say in the, the video where, the rainbow video, where it is. But you'll be able to figure it out, as in, like, Barbies. Definitely a possibility. Um, it was up at Viking Lodge. And we trailered somewhere. So there's a couple lakes around there that you can trailer to and fish for rainbows. So you'll, uh, you should be able to figure it out. How about another shot for your boy? Finally got finally got ice. Four Lakers, nine feet of water first day. That's amazing. Nine feet of water. Oh, I love lake trout. Love a shot. Love a shot for that for sure. And butter, butterscotch. We put her in that bottle last chat we had. The plan, honestly, was to do a live chat until we hit 100K. I If it had happened at like 7 o'clock in the morning or 6 o'clock in the morning, I can't remember what time it was. But it was like, do I really fire it up then? I'm like, no, let's just wait till the evening and fire it up and celebrate with everybody. So cheers to you. My channel is only at 2,372 subs. I was at below 5,000 subs for a long, long time. I think it took like two or three years to get above 5,000. So keep going and eventually it gets a little bit faster and faster. Uh, sent you a DM, DM on Facebook. I do not have Facebook right now at all. My Facebook was hacked uh, in October, and I have yet to get it back. So I have no Facebook at all, just so you know. Cheers. Carter Reed's supposed to be coming by at some point. He took a overtime shift from here and or for work today, but he's supposed to be coming by for a beer and some celebrations as well. Michael Lowe, Lakeland College, most famous alumni. Right, buddy? The old Lakeland Vermilion. Oh, those are some good times. Parties at the Shack, Lakeland College. Wow. How about use the Rapala Slab Wrap? Um, which one's the Slab Wrap? Which one? I'm, the name is just like, is, is her Slab Wrap. I want to say... Uh, I have. I'm sure I have. No, I've used it very, very little. Not a lot. Um, 
I, I've only ever had the smaller ones. I just never got any of the bigger ones, but I haven't used it very much. I've only used some of the smaller ones a little bit and not very much at all. So no, I haven't. Congratulations. Keep up all the hard work for your videos are hard to beat. Thank you very much, Jeff. I really appreciate it very much. Not going to lie. Enjoy your content the most. Thanks, Tom. There's a lot of good content on YouTube. What did you do to celebrate 100K? I chose this right here with everybody for the celebration. I don't know where I'm going to go fishing or any of that next, but I wanted to, I felt like a live chat was probably one of the best ways because the, the viewers are the ones that got me to 100K. So I thought hanging out with everybody was the best way to celebrate that. Of course, having some drinks and chilling out, but it's still, to me, it's still just a number and numbers don't mean as much as the whole community does in general. This morning I was sitting there just because I wanted to get a screenshot of the 100K to make a post and it turned to 9,000 or 99,999. And it only took like a minute to like turn over. But for that minute, I just, I said to myself, am I going to be upset if it just sits here forever at 9,999? And I'm like, no, I really won't. Or not 90,999, I guess. I was like, no, I won't be upset if it just sits here forever because it's just a number, but it's so cool, right? Like to have that as a goal and eventually hit it. So next, next goal is a million. So you guys better stick with me for a long, long time. Cindy says, if we go at the same pace, it's 63 years before I hit a million. <laughs> well, another shot here for Ivan. Congratulations. Well-deserved cheers. Well, thank you so much, Ivan. It's very, very appreciative. You guys are the best. Cheers to you. What's your favorite sleeping cot for ice camping? I have the Cabela's XL one. It's like 32 inches or 33 inches, I believe, it's from Cabela's. Yeah. Hi, McKenna. It's not, it's not Carter. It's McKenna. Mm. Carter got, reads behind you. You got stuck. I had to push him out. Did you get stuck, Carter? Yeah. With your car and you pushed him out? Yeah. McKenna's so strong. <laughs> what happens when you hit 500,000 subscribers? Um, I delete the channel. No, no, I don't know. That was always a joke when I said I was hit 100. I was like, I'm going to delete the channel. I don't really know. I, I just, I can't ever really fathom of ever hitting 500,000, I think. So I don't really ever think it's, I just, that to me, that's like, to me, that's so out of the realm of ever being reachable. I just don't really think of that really. So I'd have to, I feel like I'd almost have to add in other things to the channel or go a different row with it, like doing like more just strictly winter camping and that's that type of stuff, right? Like the fishing community is so small. So, but you never know. You never know. Uh, I saw one question I want to answer there from 306. I'm going for my first ice bows this week in northern Saskatch Saskatchewan. Any recommendation? Small little tube jigs. I like those little tube jigs for those rainbows. So for the bigger ones, for sure. Uh, what's on tap tonight, Clayton? We're having uh, a slush here. As, uh, Cindy said there's peach vodka or something in it, I think she said. She made it for me. It's good. And then some shots, butterscotch and apple pie. We're doing butterscotch right now. We've got another one from Hutsy here. And we got to answer your question. Favorite lure for pike aside from live bait? Tip up another shot. So favorite bait for ice fishing would probably be a dragon slayer. And like a half ounce either a head spinner, which is a 9 16 or either a half ounce Google Eye swim bait jig. Probably one of my favorite baits, I'd say. I did a video probably two or three winters ago already with uh, the Dragon Slayer. It was really good. Cheers. For open water is different, but we'll keep it on the ice fishing topic. Cooking show. A cooking show, yes. I'm definitely thinking about adding some hunting to the channel for sure. Um, YouTube's kind of laid off a little bit on the hunting stuff, it feels like. So, and I'm going to get in back more to the hunting next year. So, I could definitely add some hunting stuff to the channel. Or start a second channel that had the humpy, the hunt, the humpy, the hunting in it. So, heck yeah, apple pie. Make your own. No, I don't make my own ap apple pie, but I have a couple people that give me a, some apple pie. I'm gonna try once in a while. This stuff I like those from Last Mountain Distillery. It's pretty good. It kicks you in the butt a little bit. It's a good one. How do you keep your 
uh, shack windows from fogging or icing up. You really can't. If it's humid in there, it's going to ice up. The colder it is, the quicker it ices up, right? So you just clear them off with a scraper, like a credit card, something like that works really good. Don't use something that's too sharp because you'll cut through the windows. I've been... I've done cooking show stick with stick with fishing gear. I will Bob for sure. I think so too. Fishing is definitely my my uh, my niche. Dude, your chowder recipe, right? That chowder recipe. Oh, I actually like um, kept my chowder after that, like four there and ate it that night for supper too. It's so good. Do you catch much Lakers on the Dragon Slayer? Yes, catch quite a few Lakers on the Dragon Slayer. Actually, quite a bit. Tell us your top five ever YouTube moments that you've captured. Say hi to my son, Odin, please. Hello, Odin. Thank you for watching with your dad right here. And Damien, congrats, Clayton's love the video. Drink lots of shots for you guys right here. Top five YouTube moments. Um, I, in no order is the two epic Lake Trout days where I caught like multiple big ones in a day, which one was the recent one with a 43 and a half and a 44 and a half. Another one was the 42 and a half, I think, or 42 and a 43 and a half. Those two come to mind for sure. Um, the 46 inch pike from this summer was a, a huge moment for me. The PB walleye with Carter was probably the number one moment. And that's four. And the fifth one, the best YouTube moment. Um, what would it be? I'll take a shot and think here. Um, Probably being able to watch the pike on the underwater camera, I think, more than anything. If that video has like 708,000 views or something. It's my most viewed video. And uh, it's probably one of my top moments for sure, I'd say. Game of Inches. Yeah, you know what? The Game of Inches all together, that's in the top five. You're right. If I could take that and put them all together, that would be the in the top five, 100%, for sure. For sure. The Game of Inches. That was the ultimate high. Like when Adam and I caught that white fish, it was just like, even though we didn't officially win, it was like in our heads. We like built it up what everybody was doing. I was just like, there's no way that we can be beat with that. So that was definitely in the top five for sure. Game of inches, 100%. Best ice fishing memory and why? That'd be probably still the PB walleye with Carter just being there and seeing his like eyes and his face when that walleye came up the hole. Like that was probably one of the most epic moments. Blake, cheers, buddy. Congrats on the milestone. Get yourself some apple pie moonshine and some AW root beer on me, buddy. Also, shots. Let's get Clayton toasted tonight. No, no. Let's not get Clayton toasted. Let's just hang out. If it gets, uh, I'm not going to lie, if it gets to be too much, I won't be able to like do a shot with every drink. Or See, look what you guys did to me. A drink, a shot with every super chat because I obviously want to hang out and chat with everybody more than anything. But cheers to you, Blake. You've been a follower for a long time. We've obviously got together once for some fishing, but we'll get together some more in the future as well. Cheers to you, Blake. Oof, ever do apple crown? Not a big apple crown person. Clayton, you better call Cindy right now. She's going to have her hands. <laughs> Cindy's over here. <laughs> Got to chase that one down. Somebody said I better. you better watch out because I'm having too many drinks. How's the bite at Lake of the Prairies? I haven't been to Lake of the Prairies for a while. So I'm not too sure. Is Game of Inches happening this, this season? I don't know yet. I don't think anything will be filmed for this year, but you can always keep your fingers crossed. Clayton, I watch all your videos. I wish I could, go, I could go fishing with you. I wish I could fish with everybody. I really do. I really, really do. Chowder. Jack Daniels apple pie and Sprite mixed together. So good. To try that. I made a chowder like you did out on the ice, but I used mahi and lobster. <laughs> That's getting a little uh, little different than us for sure. Hey, buddy. We did her. Have a seat. Have a seat. Take your... Oh, what was that? I bumped in his chair. Oh, he's mad. Is he grumpy? There, if I move, Tigger can hang out. You got to get in here, Carter. Carter was there for a long time and a lot part of the videos. He even wore the, the hoodie today. Look at this guy. Yeah, I, I didn't even find it. No? That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Tigger. Carter, since we moved, Carter, 
as it comes over just to hang out with Tigger because he doesn't get to see him as much now. So gotta love orange cats. Oh, we gotta Darren, have a drink on me, buddy. Well, we will. Carter, you having a shot too? Or are you just drinking no, beer? Um, you you got to work early, gotta right? Work. Carter's got to work really, really early. We'll have shots. For, I'll drink Carter's share. Don't worry. I got this. Cheers, Darren. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Lake returning Colorado next month. Tell me how to win. I think the key to winning that tournament is probably to catch the biggest fish. I, I just have a feeling. I'm thinking. You got to get lucky. I'm sure tournaments involve a lot of luck sometimes, too. Not that all tournament fishing is luck. There's skill involved, but everything has to line up, especially ice fishing tournaments. A lot of it. Hey, Carter, how about the LA Kings? They won their last game, right? No, they didn't. Oh, they didn't. I didn't even know, to be honest. Have you ever been to Montana? I have, but not to ice fish, though. Not to ice fish. Any crazy video ideas in the works? Um, my videos are never ever that crazy. It's hard if I wouldn't film for like a, or put a video out for a whole month, I could like get really creative and do like one video a month and probably do something really amazing. But like, what's what's better, you know, like one or two videos a week, or one video a month, or one video possibly even two months, right? Like, it's it's hard to say. Everybody has a different style, and the creative side of me wants to sometimes like get more obviously more creative and do different things but it's like it's so hard to pump out as much content as i have and still be able to edit yourself and take care of everything and yeah but part of me wants to maybe even just focus on like one month every winter and just do one video and yeah so the real canuck i agree with blake i can't be there to get you a fireball gotta keep you supplied <laughs> we'll have to get some cindy the next time you go to the Liquor store, we need a, a 26 of Fireball, okay? It is Bernie, yes. Claim for Prime Minister. I'd run this country. I would. First thing we do, we'd axe the tax. We get rid of the carbon tax. And then after that, we'd all go fishing. One movie, one movie a month. That'd be kind of cool, right? But it's so maybe who knows where the channel goes eventually. Maybe I can start a second channel where it's just like, it is that where you get super creative and I can have somebody actually edit the video or whatever. I don't, I don't really know. Me. You're going to edit Cindy. Mm -hmm. I could just imagine if Cindy was my editor. She spent half the day watching her influencers all day. Be cat videos. Be all cat videos. <laughs> yeah. All cat videos. I'd vote for you. Carter, would you vote for me if I was prime minister or ran for prime minister? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I think so. I got two votes already. Are you fishing Crooked Lake Derby this year? I don't think so. Uh, unless I happen to be around and I got nothing going on. If I could be on a fishing trip, though, I don't even know when it is. But I wouldn't mind coming down to one of those derbies just to show up and even do the way, the, like the whole Waymaster thing or whatever and hang out and show up at one of those tournaments. But I do, wouldn't need to fish in it. Excuse me. Those drinks are, I'd vote. Three votes. We got three. Look out, Trudeau. I'm coming for you. I'd vote for cat video, so as long as you can fish. I think we need Tigger in a video. Have you ever fished Lake Superior? I have not. The furthest east I've been is ever uh, is Nipissing, Nipissing Lake. Best time to ice fish Manitoba? Um, I like late. I like March and April because... The season, well, April, you have to go further north, but you just have so many more options, I feel, when it comes later. Um, and especially the northern zones, like if it's nicer out, you can go fish different lakes and explore a little bit. Like when it gets mid, mid of the winter and it's really cold, it's better if you know the spots already or you plan to sit up in one spot all day. If you're going to go, say, lake trout fishing and sit in the same spot all day, but if you're going to go walleye fishing and move around a little bit, I really like that late March into April, personally, myself. But it's if you know no areas already, middle of the, the season can be really good. Have you ever fished Condi? I have not fished Condi. Exile Outdoors and Dason. Oh boy. Congrats on 100K, Clayton. Looking forward to all the awesome videos to come. Cheers. Thank you so much, Dason. All the best in your next chapter. Dason has been 
with the channel since the beginning. He's always been a supporter. I think he owns every single CSO merch out there, which there will be more merch coming eventually. I just need to get things we're figured doing, out. Do baby merch for him. We're, we're doing baby merch for Dason, apparently. Yes. Cheers to both you guys. Yes, it's only half with This is a two ounce drink. Don't judge me like Carter does when he's like, fill that thing up. Like, look it. The ball's gone. We, we did her. Like, it's not that I'm not shooting. Let's go here. 20 minutes in. Oh, boy. Oh, not good. I need a minute here. <laughs> need a minute. I need. You guys are going to be running the live chat soon. The truck is going to go for sale again. The truck is not going for sale. Basque. Went out for drinks with my my with my first officer was going to pay, but he literally wrestled the bill out of my hand. Seems fitting I could pay it forward to you guys. Well, that's amazing, Bass. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And we have another one there. Congratulations, guy. Cheers to many more from Minnesota. Cheers to Minnesota. We're having a shot at apple pie. I'm going show. Going again. What? Oh, okay. I, I, Tommy Weeb. Tommy Weeb is Aaron's nephew. You ever seen the video where Aaron took his nephews out fishing? His little nephews? You have to go watch it. If you guys haven't seen this video, go to Uncut Angling. It's good to see him posting videos again. I actually had a lot, nice chat with Ad, or with Aaron for the first time in a long time. And uh, it was awesome to chat with him. But Tommy is his, I believe it's his nephew. Sorry if I'm wrong, Tommy. But he's his nephew. And there's a video on Uncut Angling where he goes out pike fishing. And he takes his three young nephews fishing. And Tommy is one of them. I had a chance to meet him this year. Tommy isn't a little nephew anymore. Tommy is growing up. And crush his fish on his own but anyways cheers to all of you guys what no jello shots there's jello shots yeah. right you better do some, we better get some jello sh shots cousin. cousin i'm sorry tommy cousin okay cousin cheers i met tommy this year i now i should have known it wasn't nephew because because uh cooper's my nephew i should have figured that out i'm not a donkey i knew it wasn't i knew you didn't belong to carrie or aaron's brother I, I knew that, so I should have figured that. Same with the, uh, where's the sauce? Where's the sauce? What? what? Well, he's, he's been a uh, subscriber forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lots of them are. You guys got to have a couple of the next shots for me. <laughs> we all have day jobs, Clayton. Oh, what? <laughs> I don't work? Didn't yeah. you have See, um, there, there okay, where, there's worth the sauce. There he is. He's been here since day one. Okay, you guys all do a shot Jason's for me. Oh no, you guys do the next day. shot. You guys do the next shot. Uh, Matthew I, uh, Haas is another one. Matthew Haas has been for a long time. Um, how long how long have you been grinding to get here? Tell us your YouTube journey. Um I made my YouTube account, it said in 2013, but I didn't post my first video until 2016. But that was not even like a video that I created. It was something that me and Jay did for fun with a couple people. In October of 2017, I put my first official like YouTube video out. I think it was 2017. Don't quote me. Uh, and then I put like a couple more that year, but not many. It wasn't until like 2019 where I really started to push videos. And I did like 20 or 30 videos, uh, but never really went hard. When COVID hit, I hate that name, but when COVID hit in 2020, 2020 is when I really started to push it and say that I'm going to put out as many videos as I possibly can and focus on everything else. I had a bunch of money saved up and I already had all the camera gear and I had lots of the equipment to do, to, to do all this. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to push forward. I'm going to not make any money for 12 months. I'm going to go into the savings account that was supposed to be for retirement or any of that stuff, right? That you start to save money for. And I dipped into all of that, spent it all buying a trailer and other equipment and just went full, full on in on it. So that's kind of how it all started was like when COVID really kicked in is when I like yeah. said, I'm going to go hard. You had no job then. I had no job. Basically, all of the guiding was like canceled. Excuse me. Because of COVID, they weren't allowing people from the states come, and uh, yeah, I was like, I had no. I could have went and got a, a job for sure. There was opportunities out there.
or whatever. But I was like, no, I'm gonna just take a shot and go and like make this my my uh, my dream or to chase the whole thing, right? Like, I remember saying it was like I got to at least try. I don't want to be 50 years old and look back and go, why didn't I at least take the gamble and try? I've always been the high, you know, in the high risk thing my whole life with different types of jobs and whatever. And if I didn't make it, I didn't make it. I was good. But that's probably when it all started. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of seeing circles here. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't do any shots for a few. There's no doubt. So save the super chats. I'm not drinking probably for a little bit. I I'm, some uh, I'm questions good. for McKenna. Give it, how about a question for Carter? We need a question for uh, Carter. Someone just told me to go to bed. <laughs> go to bed <laughs> Carter. Tired? He works too hard. Somebody give somebody give Carter a question. Clayton, we got I you. want a question for Carter. Your ice camping big fish videos are the best. We've got ice here in Metro Detroit. Detroit, go Lions. <laughs> go Frank. Frank's coming up here uh, on Sunday. Round two playoffs. Go Lions. Thank you, Joe. Okay, you guys do it. There do a jello Carter. shot for Joe. What are your favorite moments? Uh, That's a good question. Well, obviously, Clayton's PBY. And then probably the Lake of the Prairies tournament. Line. That was good, hey? Um, Or fishing with Joey in the tournament. That was Joey in the tournament. Yeah, that was, that was good. That was, yeah. A nice opportunity. So those are two open water videos. The tournament with Joey is on there, and it's a GNA, the Next Generation Tournament. Angler, whatever it is, the AYA, uh, Angler's Youth or whatever it is, is on there. <laughs> Sydney <laughs> slowed up. And, and then there's a video that I put out where Carter and I won the online tournament at Lake of the Prairies this year. So, yeah, those were those were cool. Like, I remember, I remember setting the hook into the big one and being like, "This could be it. This could, we could have just won." What's Carter's favorite color? Like, color to fish with? Yeah. Or? What's your favorite color? I thought I found a better blue, one. Blue, blue, chrome, clown, clown, black and gold, clown. He, I, and have you ever noticed blue, chrome, clown? Or black and gold, those are three hyper hammer colors. So you can clearly hyper see rattle. hyper rattle. You can clearly see what his favorite bait is, too. It's clearly a hyper rattle. Carter, did you like Clayton when Cindy and Clayton first met? <laughs> so, I, okay, this is awesome. So, well, you know what? We haven't told this story for a while, probably, or some people have never heard it. So, this is like the story's ever been told. Cindy and I. Um, this is how we kind of met. So I used to go to Florida and fish in the winter time and I go into the bank and I'd get wires down there and transfer money down there all the time. And Cindy's probably like, who's this guy that could just transfer $15,000 to the States and go fishing for three months. She wanted a fishing guide. Clearly I can tell, but anyway, oh. no, we knew each other before that, but we'd always talk and I'd always ask how Carter's hockey's going. You're making conversation, right? You're making talking or whatever. And I said, so how's Carter's hockey going? And she goes, oh, well, if you give me his, your number, I can send you his schedule and you can come to a game. Also, Cindy asked for my number, so I, I gave it to her, you know, like, that's being it cool or whatnot, and give her my number, and she texted me a schedule, and I came to a game that was 30 minutes away first, and I didn't even tell her it was coming. I just showed up to the game, no. watched the game, and, like, in the third intermission or the second intermission, third period, she saw me, and she's like, what are you doing here? I was like, oh, I came to watch Carter's hockey. I was doing shooters. I played it. I played it, you know, smooth, right? So anyway, so I came to some more games in our home city and whatnot, and eventually, like, started to hang out with her more during the game. She'd come sit with me, and we'd watch. And after one of Carter's games, we I was sitting sitting with her still, and he comes up, and I remember him. She didn't. He didn't say this in front of us, but later, he says, "Who's that sitting with my mom?" <laughs> well, that was me. So about two weeks or so later, eventually she would never invite me over to their place. And well, I didn't really have a home because I was a gypsy. I was a fishing guide and a fishing loser. And I just traveled around and fished and hunt. And that's all I did. So her daughter actually like texted me and was like, 
mom wants you to come over, but she's, she's too chicken to, to, to tell you or ask you. So I texted her and I was like, is this the truth? Like, cause I didn't want to just show up. And she's like, yeah, they're, the kids are bugging me. So I showed up. Yeah. We had some drinks. Ray left. Carter was still there because he was I had to go to school. In the he room. had to go to school. And I couldn't we're, sleep. we're having drinks. And he comes out of his room. He's like, could you guys shut the F up? I'm trying to sleep. We're laughing and giggling and having drinks and getting wasted is what, you know, typical people do that are you both single and, you know, ready to mingle. No. And <laughs> I was 14, 14, 14, 14, 14 or 15. Yeah. And it was all history from there. And then they learned how to fish. Yeah, and then they didn't fish before that. They yeah, nobody ever fished in the family, and I taught Carter and Ray how to fish. And I, I for the longest time, I was convinced that Cindy was only with me because her kids liked me. So I was like, I really have to like make sure the kids will still like me, right? Or else she's just gonna be like, see ya. No, I'm kidding with that one. But yeah, that's kind of how it all uh, all started. Have you fished last night, Lake Carter? Once or twice. It's Carter's favorite lake. And now you have a cat, too. Yeah. Anyways, that's our story. Was there any questions I, I missed that you guys need to answer? He buys Carter off a sweet gear. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. Carter, any tips for Last Mountain? What's your biggest tip for Last Mountain? Probably stay mobile. Uh, don't fish memories. Um... Hmm. Those are pretty good. Find bait. Find bait. That's pretty good. Yeah, find bait. It's pretty good. Those are like three things I would have said for sure. How old are you, Carter? Twenty-two. Almost twenty-three. Yeah, that's right. February. Oh boy. Great story. Fishing gypsy. Hmm. I'm totally a fishing gypsy. Like, I'm not gonna lie. That's all I really did. It was. I, I fished and guided. I guided fishing and hunting for the longest time. And eventually when I got far enough up in the fishing guiding where I didn't have to actually like do the hunting guiding, that's when I like fully just started to fish on my own. And there was times where we go to Last Mountain Lake or Tobin Lake and I'd camp in an ice castle for literally three weeks and just fish. And then in February, February, March, April, I'd go to Florida and I'd fish for three months. I do miss Florida probably more than a lot, fishing for tarpon and goliath grouper and all that. So, What's your PB Laker? Open water is 48 inches and uh, ice fishing is 44 and a half. I think they're asking Carter, mine. Oh, 40, sorry. 44 and a half? Yeah. So I don't it's know. A, yeah, 44 and a half. Ice fishing is only like 35. I haven't, got a, I haven't got carded to a lot of ice fishing Laker stuff yet, but yeah. Cindy, I'm not joking. Slow down. You have to work in the morning. Are you hammering him back or what? I got done with you. That's good because I'm already wrecked. Let's get him to 200 so we can celebrate some yeah. more. <laughs> need guy. Need. I was. I read that. I was like, do we have to ban this Blake guy? Need Carter a giant loser? I'm like, what Laker? <laughs> I bet you he typed it and was like trying to auto correct as fast as he could. I know it says Laker after. I'm like, what? I always said it when I grow up. I want to be Clayton Schick. No, you don't. You don't want to be Clayton Schick. Are you okay, buddy? Tigger is 17 years of age. So, yeah. Sydney's had a half dozen shots already. She likes the jello shots. It's all good, Blake. We, uh, You corrected it. Congrats on the milestone. Just a little token. Love your videos. No need to take a shot. Oh, I will. Phew. I got you. Okay, good. Um, wondering if you could speak on how to find the heat hog heater. Okay, well, I'll tell you guys an honest story with the heat hog heater. Since I'm always been transparent with this transparent the right word, or is transparent when you're not being truthful. Transparent is when you're being truthful. Okay, so the heat hog heater. I started using it last year in March. And I, I beat the crap out of it, right? Like, I mean, like, I took it on all my adventures. I used it. I banged around in the sleigh. Everything with it was going really well until recently it started to kick out. 
so it would like it'd be on and it just shut off and i'd start it up sometimes and it would keep going to be no no problem but sometimes i would try to start it again and it just would never get going and there's a video coming out my next video actually where you'll see in the video where you start with a heat hog heater and we switched off to a big buddy but this is where i'm happy with the whole heat hog situation is i messaged them and i said that hey this heater is giving me issues i'm not happy with what's going on it doesn't seem to be putting out as much heat as it should when it's on high and it keeps cutting off the first thing they did was like what's your address we'll send you a brand new one and we'd like if you could send that other one back so we dissect it dissect it over and look at it so their customer service is really good my so far overall impressions with the small heat hog has been really good the big one it was good but recently that happened to it now i'm hard on gear stuff happens i've had big buddies explode on me and start on fire quit working stuff cracks so all of that stuff is all relative in terms of how hard you use it and abuse it so my situation with the big bot the heat hog wasn't good where it quit working on me it wasn't wasn't doing good but because their customer service was good I'm happy with it in that situation. If they would have sloughed me, I'd be the first one to tell you. It was like, yeah, they told me, I was like, oh, well, I guess you have to buy another heater. But the first thing it says is we'll send you another heater. And they even asked if I could send that one back so they could look at it. So I'm impressed with that part of it. So you'll see some videos coming up in the future where I'm using a big buddy heater. And that's because the heat hog or the, the heat hog heater, the heat hog heater that I had went bad on me and yeah so that's all i can tell you is like i don't have an overall impression of like how what's its overall take my first one turned into a lemon but there could be something going on so that's all i'll say about that clayton thank you for all the videos and tips you've helped me and my friends fishing game a ton and helped me land several pbs last year well i'm super pumped we can help you out cindy's gonna have another shot for you Chad Overson's in here. Chad. Chad, I want to come fish with you. Rufus. Ruf. I want to come fish with you and Rufus. When is the best time, Chad, to come down there? I'll bring my boat. I want to come down there. Did you watch Aaron's video today? I did. It was uh I, I really liked it. It was good. It was good. Stormy outdoors smashed them today. Call me tomorrow. Stormy, call me tomorrow. I want to see uh how you're doing, buddy. Stormy Outdoors is um, Dakota Lithium. I knew that. You did know that. Mm -hmm. I met him My daughter, Brooke, show. and I are big fans. Can you give her a shout out? Congrats on 100K. Well, thank you very much to yourself and Brooke. I appreciate you guys watching the video. It means a lot. It totally means a lot. Where do you buy your merch? I have merch available on ClaytonShickOutdoors.com. Um, there isn't a pile of merch on there right now. There's, there are some options. We're selling out on a lot of things. We are going to try to get the merch up and rocking again, though, in the near future. We just moved recently and trying to get that all set up. This is the merch girl. She does all the shipping, the organizing, and all that. So there will be some more merch coming at some point. Um, but it's just not yet. Probably, I would say, by the fall. Happy 100K. Thanks, Stormy. 48-inch lake trout story. I'm going to have to save that for a future a video at some point because there's there is a good there's a good story with it for sure but uh we have to i have to save that one so feel free to bring that up in a future live chat at some point but we'll we'll talk about the 48 inch open water lake trout at some point for sure hi how's it going congrats well thank you so much what are you which one are you laughing at carter you got Nothing. something no can i marry your stepdaughter <laughs> is that what you're laughing okay. at i don't know how many cows do you have you have a lot of cows we can talk cows you always trade for cows cows are good cows are always worth money cows don't go bad yeah cows don't go bad cows are good we want the burnt ends in a bag they are in a bag we want burnt ends in a bag and they're actually available online right now go to big smoke barbecue on instagram and you can order them online you ship them in canada anyway we need a shit recipe book uh lunch on ice yes i don't disagree back by the way that trout chowder today looked so good <laughs> how how was your did you oh grilled cheese you didn't like the salmon did you no i ate it did no, you I did you like it too. did I you like it save some for lunch tomorrow did you like it yeah. i cook harder salmon tonight in the air fryer tastes like normal walleye 
Walleye? It tastes like lake trout. Uh, Tyler Tobacco, you've been a follower for a long time. I'm happy for you, Clay. I remember watching your videos when you fished cranberry pretty hard pre-COVID. You helped me obsess over lake trout fishing in the past years. All the best. Congratulations. Well, thank you so much, Tyler. I always uh, like seeing your pictures and videos over at, uh, I won't mention what lake you fish, just in case you want to keep it a secret, but uh, I'd like to see, or I like how you progress in the lake trout fishing as well and start slaying monsters. So congratulations to yourself and thanks for being around for a long time. Our cat, Rory, wants Tigger to take a shot of the catnip. <laughs> Number one on YouTube. <laughs> Tigger? Tigger's never been a big catnip person, has he? Really? Thank you so much. Oh, boy. He's purring already. You can hear him. Any tips on fishing walleye now that the weather has changed from warm to cold? Um, yeah, go fish for a different species until March. Honestly, walleye get to be so tough. If you noticed my last video, I caught a walleye out of 70 feet. Walleye start to go deep. Walleye start to not eat as much, and it gets to be hard to catch them. I really suggest at this time, like not that you can't go fish for walleye, but you're not going to catch what you are in the fall or early ice. Be happy with a, a four to a 10 fish day at the most, right? And fish spots where you think they could be coming up to feed at the later part of the day. But for the most part, walleyes get to be really hard to catch as the fishing gets cold. Focus more in March when it starts to warm up more than anything. Now's a good time to fish for perch, pike, stock trout, a bunch of other species. Lake trout, of course, it gets to be hard. My PB crappie is zero. Zero, zero, zero. I'm going to do some crappie fishing at some point. I, I promise. Clayton, you're going to have your hands full. Cindy is back there just hammering those jump shots. I was just counting them. How many have you I done? Just, I did 10. <laughs> <laughs> Clean that fridge out. We did. Good. We Good. Six back there. That's amazing. <laughs> Remember this guy hitting uh, 10K. Congrats. That's amazing you've been around since 10K. There's 90,000 people less that haven't been around since that long. So that's pretty awesome. It's really cool. PB cutthroat, never caught a cutthroat. I see that frostbite package. Let's unbox. I don't have. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that, that the boy box? No, that's this one. It's a giveaway. This was the, the, no, this one's not a giveaway. <laughs> this, one is not a, this one is not a giveaway. Is that the mystery box? No, nope, this is just something I got sent to me that I need. We need the handle hugger. I love the handle huggers for the Vanta Blacks. And I think this one's a scissor kick. I told Marcus that I need a bunch of scissor kicks. This is the biggest size scissor kick right here, the three eighths. Carter's probably going to steal half of these. This is the smallest size right now, I believe, the one, one fall ounce right there. So I'm going to probably do some perch fishing at some point if I like the small scissor kicks. Yeah, another who's, color here, one eighth. Fisher? Who's the better fisher? Carter, Carter's a good stick. One fall. It came out with new colors and scissor kicks. I mean, new colors? Like rose, like. Brought, like, Look at belt colors. Gold. Yeah. Look at gold. Like as if that one's not gonna be good. One eighth ounce gold. I could see a big walleye in that one coming up at some point. These are all scissor kicks. I asked him to send me some scissor kicks. That one's yeah. That one's different. A gold something. Gold white almost. Look at that one. Look at Carter evolving those lures. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only one I got of that color. I'll trade you for a pink. A bingo flamingo. <laughs> Trade you for a pink carter. That's a 112. I need the 180 for some walleyes. Okay, we got more super chats. Can you can you say shout out Alex Paulus Paulson? Thought I pronounced that. Mm -hmm. Paulson. Love you guys. Well, we love you too, Chase and Alex. Thank you so much. Hunter, congratulations. How was the cold front fight? Uh, I wouldn't know because I didn't go fishing. <laughs> you know what I do during my cold fronts? I sit home when I edit. I knew there was a cold front coming, so I just went out and I grinded hard in northern Manitoba, and I literally just tried to get as many videos as I could. And right now I'm still editing those videos. I have a rainbow trout video coming out on Sunday. I mean, that's right. Clayton went rainbow trout fishing. Carter, why has Clayton needed a restock? <laughs> Do you use a scissor kick in the summer as well? You know what? I haven't done much with it, but I think you could do something with a, with a scissor kick in the summer. I'm going to mess around good. with dinner bells and tantrums. Yeah, I think it'd be good. There's another one for you, dude. Which one? Um, Carter, what's your biggest walleye you caught this year? 
<laughs> Bigger than Clayton's of all he caught this year. I caught a 31 and three quarter, 10.7 pounds. And uh, this is the part I was most impressed with. I saw the pictures of the fish. It's 31 and like it's seven eight. It's, it's like 31 it's and seven eight. Like 15, 16. It's like it's, I, I could have called it 32. Could have called it a 32, but I didn't. But he's got the mouth shut, slammed against the end of the bump board, and he rounded down to 31 and three quarters. Like as if that's not training and teaching somebody stretching fish. It doesn't matter. It's it's all your own, but you're only going to ever hurt yourself. It's no different than golf. If you come home and you tell somebody, I shot three over par today, but you only, but you actually shot a six or seven. It's an individual sport. The only person you're hurting is yourself. So that's the cool part about it. But I, I shoot better in golf too. Though. You you. <laughs> Not a girl, McKenna. Carter's a really good golfer. Actually, Carter, you know what? I don't think I told you about this yet. There's supposed to be a tournament at Lake the Prairies this year, fins and skins. Like a fishing Like a fishing tournament? and a golfing tournament. Are we in? Yeah. Mikey's like, oh, do you think you could ask Carter if he'll be my partner? I'm like, nah, I think he'll be my partner, Mikey. <laughs> fins and skins. Wouldn't that be amazing? Golf sucks, I'm out. Here's that one that um, has the same name as Reagan. Congratulations on 100K. Emery Ray is here watching. How about big shout out? So his your daughter's shout out. name is Emery Ray, and you have a Ray Emery. Yeah, Ray's Ray's Nick or Ray's name is Reagan Emery. So that's pretty cool. That's really cool. My PB wall is 30 and a quarter out of Lake of the Woods. That's a big fish. Love your videos, dude. Keep working hard. Thank you so much. I'm only 12. Love ice fishing and caught a 30 inch in Nelson, Montana. What is the best ice fishing rod for walleye? Myself, I like the Smoke Show and the True Grit from Frostbite. What's your favorites for rods? Uh, for walleye? Yeah. Probably Smoke Show and a Run and Gun. Run and Gun. Carter likes the Run and Gun. The Run and Gun's a really good one. Let's go for a round, Carter. Jason wants to go fishing or golfing. Five bucks go. a hole. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't yeah. there's a good golf course up by Fishing Lake, isn't there? I golf the Foam Lake course, not the Foam Lake, the Winyard course in Golf Provincials for high school one year. He so needs to nice. make some money back from all the bets he's losing against the Kings. Yeah. Oh yeah. Where's my twenty bucks? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Carter owes me twenty <laughs> bucks. The, o the Oilers and the Kings play, and he's like, "Let's bet 50 I'm like, "No, let's just bet twenty." The Oilers won. Um. A two verse two. Actually, we're definitely going to do something like that in the future. Um, this year, myself, Adam, Mr. 30, Carter, and another friend, Mason, went out fishing to Last Mountain for the day. And we almost did a two verse two. And it was just like, you know what? It just didn't work out. It was too, by the time I thought about it, it was too late. But I could see something like that happening in the future for sure. I have to buy another uh, a mic setup so i could run four mic setups but i have enough for cameras where i can make it work so you were just scared because you put 11 pounder in the boat in five minutes yeah but you still would have lost overall though did you guys catch five fish that day no but i caught <laughs> yeah, two over 30. but you didn't catch five fish though you would have lost for sure you would have lost oh greenwater's got a nice nice course oh yeah that's like uh it's like North of Foam Lake. Yeah. I think. Um, east, east, northeast. From Wadena, yeah. right? Do you think eight or ten inch hole matters when ice fishing for larger walleye? I would mm -hmm. say I prefer a ten inch hole, hundred percent. There's a comment. If you go to the video with a one verse one verse one, it's the newest comment where a guy literally like chewed me up for using a ten inch hole and uh long rods. And he's like, I'm telling you, you need to do this. Like he was so adamant, and I'm just like, dude, like stop like you have no idea i prefer the bigger holes for the walleye for sure just because you run the risk of losing them at the hole more often than anything else like as in like the bottom of the hole so i like a 10 inch hole for big walleyes 100 percent. especially if you start using a flasher or anything else where you're going to fish in the same hole you want that extra that extra spot his his theory was once you get them up the hole well then you're going to catch them for sure but an eight inch hole with two inches or three inches of ice, not two inches. I really fished two, three, four inches of ice. It's not going to help you at all. You're it's still hard to grab. You're still going to spin be difficult. They can get off. So I just, I stopped on the argument, 
but you guys have to go and look at his like thing because it's like don't waste my time but the one verse one verse one video go read the newest comment on there it's so funny carter besides clayton who's your favorite youtube fishing personality <clears throat> i like alex's videos um jay's last none of it video was really good you like that one yeah um some of tom bully he's pretty monotone tom tom's great i like i like he's tom. very informative you'll, you'll never yeah. learn you'll learn so much from tom's yeah. videos if you watch tom's videos to learn something from which is the biggest things from youtube you either want to learn or you want to be entertained. It's one or the other, right? Educated or entertained. You're always going to be educated with Tom, 100%. But his videos are getting better and better, if you've noticed, to be more entertaining, too, with bringing his buddy Mitch into the camera work and all that. But I've used a lot of Tom's theories and picked up stuff from him. Like, he is, there's no doubt, a very, very good walleye angler. And, I, you, and Uncut Angling, obviously, Aaron, his videos are, even though he doesn't put them out for a, a, the long, longest time, He's a huge inspiration in terms of us and this channel and what happened. And I'll still always be grateful, even though Aaron and I are chatting again, which is amazing. I haven't talked to him for a year and a half, but we, we chatted again the other day. But he was he was one of the originals that got my channel rocking and rolling and promoted it. And even if Aaron and I would have never talked again for the rest of our lives, I always would have said that Aaron was a big reason for me to get where I am today, no matter what. Uncut is the king of YouTube fishing. He definitely started it all. There's no doubt about it, 100%. I will always, I will never deny that at all. Another good YouTuber is John B. I watch a lot John of B is, John B is, is good, yeah. He's, he, it's very artistic and tells a good story, right? Which never is, stop tour, was it three? Three is his latest one. I yeah, think. that was good. It was good, yeah. Yeah. When can we see pike fishing videos? Uh, I have some pike videos coming up soon, but nothing that I'm super proud or stoked about yet. Uh, soon I'm going to go out, though, and try to do some pike fishing, but I'm going to attempt to not even take tip-ups with me, possibly, and just do in the shack with the underwater camera and get cool strikes and moments like that where I'm catching them, you know, like, in the shack i tip up fishing is great but i like to like I, I always want to capture the moment and do cool stuff more than anything for sure so would you use a slab wrap next video probably not are you planning on fishing lake winnipeg this season yes in february i plan to be there have i used the e40 yet not yet i'd like to use it at some point but i haven't used it yet the alpha is just so good i've heard nothing about good things about the e40 though the e40 has been amazing What's a good jigging bait for January Pike? I'd say a Dragon Slayer. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm I could, excited for you. <laughs> I, I could probably do another shot now. I I was not doing so good for a while, but I'm good now though. I kept going that pace. I was gonna be did, sleeping. So did you answer this one, Carter? What's your biggest pike you've ever caught and where? Uh, forty-four and a half and. I mean, I guess I could say where you can say where it's from. It's on video, Lake of the Prairies. Yeah. Any plans for fishing with Jay? Uh, nothing's in the works yet, but we don't really ever plan ahead of time. We just like say like, hey, the weather's good. Does your schedule match up? Let's go. So Jay and I will fish together again for sure at some point. There's just no certain plan when or what, when or for what yet. 506 in the chat. That's crazy. That's actually... It's actually kind of mind blowing. There's 500 people in live chat. Crazy. Marshall outdoors. Cheers to you, buddy. We're hope not, hope you're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> good one. Good one. Not so dedicated, are they? <laughs> That's funny. Derby at Fishing Lake, February 18th. 15K first prize. Come. Carter. you should go to that one. That's actually a good one. Jason, they actually catch fish at that one, right? Like a lot of fishing tournaments the op the water or uh, hard water you don't catch fish but i feel like that one you do i'm pretty sure i'm in when is it february, february 18th mm -hmm. i have one of my fish with clayton shrimps at baker on february 18th so i can't go to that one but and i'm working adam says seeing circles i won't send shots <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing yeah oh boy i'm good now drink 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 
member. You're a member. We'll have we'll have a shot for you soon. Okay, there's a shot. Hey, the my husband Miguel says hi. And if you gave, if you say top five ice fishing must have for lake trout, he loves your video. I'd say a four inch or a six inch tube jig. We'll keep that as one. So a tube jig, four or six inch tube jig, a big rattle bait, the tantrum, the hundred millimeter. I would say some kind of spoon like the cast master spoon like a, a half ounce to a one ounce spoon let's say the dragon slayer with the acme uh, uh google eye kaylin's uh, swim bait jig like a half ounce and then i would say uh a, a hyper hammer the biggest hyper hammer they make those are probably my top five for lake trout right there who's behind carter you you tell it you who's behind no carter. you say i have a shot who are you i'm who? mckenna and Carter's girlfriend. And she's a better fisherman. Fisher girl. Fisher girl. <laughs> McKenna's caught a lot of nice fish. What's your PB what's your PB walleye, McKenna? Twenty eight hundred. Carter, that's small though. She's mad about that. No, she's not. Yeah, she is. No. Carter, there was another one for you. Something about oh, what's your live scope Ooh. set up? I, I don't have live scope yet. I'm getting live scope. I got Mega Live right now. Carter's Mega Live, which remember, oh. it's good. Any live imaging is better than no live imaging. Is it the best live imaging right now? Out right now? No, it's not. Is it in the top three? It's definitely in the top three live imaging out right now for sure. But it's not the best. So he's running a Mega Live right now with a Helix 10. But just take Clayton's live scope <laughs> since you catch bigger fish. Mm. I my goal is to actually run two live scopes in the boat this year. I'm not gonna lie. Mega live, you peasant. <laughs> That's so funny. Any live imaging is still better than no live imaging, but you can't, it's not even it's not even close yet. The LVS 34 is so much better than the Mega Live. Like I always I look back at some of my older videos. Where I'd be defending the mega live, I'm like, it looks good. I'm happy with it. And then I like know what I I can do now with the live scope, and I'm like, what was I thinking? Now that I can see it, and you don't know until you actually switch or use it, right? And I still I was fine with that though. I I was fine with using the Hummingbird Mega Live and saying that it's not the best out right now, but it's still good. And Hummingbird was like, no, you can't say that. And I'm like, so I can't tell people the truth. It's kind of like the heaters where I had a situation with the heater. And I had something go wrong with the heat hog. If heat hog ever said, I don't want you to say that online, that you can't say that your heater broke or you quit, I quit on you. I would just say, okay, well, don't send me any more heaters because I don't want to work with your company. Stuff happens. Some stuff is better than other stuff. Humminbird still has the best auto chart stuff out there. Their side imaging is amazing, right? I just, I'll never play that game. Somebody said, they asked me a question recently with the Eskimo and they said, how are the sleighs? I said, the sleigh is really good on my flip over. I'm not disappointed. I haven't put it through the test yet. Otter still makes the best sleigh out there, but that doesn't mean anything, right? Like every company is always going to have their best out there. So, so Garmin's better. Yes, the Garmin is better, hundred percent. But it doesn't mean that the Mega Live is is crap. It's just not as good. That that's all it means. What's your best memory with Jay? Um, two memories with Jay that, that actually three memories with Jay, I'll go top three. Cause it's not fair to list one. Uh, one is the sturgeon fishing where myself, Jay and Maddie gets went to, uh, the Fraser river. Uh, I can't remember the, the city we stayed out of. It's a blank at the moment, but we fished sturgeon for 10 days and we caught 175 white sturgeon. We started our trip catching two to 10 a day. And our last three days, we got like 25, 35, 35. It was just insane. <laughs> And then also myself, Jay, and Mark Tully, we drove all the way down to the Mexico-Texas border, and we fished Falcon Lake for largemouth bass. We got chased off by – we didn't get chased off, but we left, right? I'll tell the story. Myself, Jay, and Mark Tully, we go drive all the way down to the Mexico-Texas border to fish Falcon Lake. We, we get down there. We're bass fishing. Things are amazing. It's the end of the day. The sun is setting. We're coming back, and out of the middle of nowhere, people aren't familiar – the Tex the Falcon Lake is a border lake of Mexico and Texas. So half of it's on Texas, half of it, half of half of it's on Mexico. We're coming back, and this boat scoots across from the Texas side, barrels right across to the Mexico side. Like I mean, cuts us off like right in front. 
And we're like, okay, that was kind of creepy. We get to the launch. We're the only truck left in the parking lot. And we're like, well, this is cool. Everybody else, they're sure not hardcore like we are. Hey, like us Canadians, we're like, we're hardcore. We'll show you guys. We pull the boat out. I kid you not, two po po patrol cars come flashing lights right at us where their headlights are straight at us, cut us off, guns drawn. We're like, oh, my God, what is going on? We, you know, we roll down the windows. They come to the whole window, and they're like, what are you guys doing? And we're like, uh, fishing. They're like, Never again will you fish on this lake at until until when the sun sets, you're done. They're like, period, you get off here because that's a whole like a drug running area and whatever. So they're like, from now on, when the sun sets, you're you're off. We couldn't figure out why the only boat in the parking lot. Anyway, that trip we caught an eight and a half pound largey and a nine and a half pound largey. It was amazing. And then my third amazing experience with Jay would be the Florida, where we did the Goliath Grouper and the Tarpon. So yeah, those are my like three, those all started before either of us were making YouTube videos at all. I wish I could kind of go back and like document that more. My, my grouper and some of the tarpon are on Aaron's channel. I think I have, if you go to where my original videos, when I first started filming in 2017, you can find a Goliath grouper video and a tarpon video that we filmed when we were down there when we first started. That was probably like the coolest thing for sure. Best fishing memory is probably when we were together at Baker's Narrows and I caught a 39 and three quarter inch lake trout when we were together. I'd say that's probably the best lake trout experience together. So Carter looks like he needs a nap ski. <laughs> Carter worked all day. I had three and a half hours of sleep last night. Yeah, yeah, Carter was up super early and worked all day. Were you watching Clayton subs go last night? No, I couldn't sleep. Oh. Well, you should have been watching the subscribers for me then. Aside from 100K, what's your most memorable YouTube memory? Probably catching my PB walleye with this guy. That thing was, I'll, I'll never forget that whole sequence, that moment, just everything happen, happening. Hey, uh, Boone, <laughs> I work today. <laughs> Boone has the same job you do. Coming from belt crew over here. <laughs> what's your PB walleye? You know. No, you know this. You caught it with the three of us together. I remember that. Because we both had nice fish that day, and I didn't want to film. <clears throat> 20, 28 and a half? 28. 28. 28. Pretty good. Pretty close. How do you remember? Like, every time you talk about, oh, on July 30th in 2000, whatever, we went fishing here, and you'll rattle off all of your fish and your sizes. How do you? So, hopefully this isn't going to get me in trouble. You always remember... The things you really care about. <laughs> What's true. my middle name? <laughs> <laughs> Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Carol. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call it Sorry, Sorry, Carl, Cindy Carol. <laughs> I've always had that like memory. Um, I was a golfer just like Carter is, and when I golfed, I could remember for four rounds after or later what i shot every single shot i took not only could i remember the you shot can, you though, can remember the score, your whole round you remembered your round the same with it was when for with fishing i don't write things down i just kind of remember reagan was bailing you out there for you what she say she goes clayton it's grandma's name <laughs> i knew what it was right i knew <laughs> december was city's birthday is december 4th when's mckenna's birthday Wow. <laughs> I know. I don't know. Mm. I, you know I, her, I don't even know the month. But you know her PB, right? Yeah, I know her PB. That's no problem. <laughs> what is your, when's your birthday? Eight, no, I don't even know what I'm guessing. I don't know. Oh, Car you know, Carter, when's, when's her birthday? Oh, really? I know. Okay, then when is it? July 28th. Oh my gosh. Really? 8, 28 on 28. That's how I'm going to remember that from now on. Somebody on the chat knows when my birthday is. Really? Holy sheesh. I have to think about that one, Clay. How the heck did you know that? Best tip for pressured walleye in a featureless mm -hmm. lake with ton of bait fish, max depth, 30 Too feet, 30 acre trap. lake. It's one big basin. Mm -hmm. They're likely going to be roaming mid lake, uh, probably feeding on um, suspended fish. So probably set up somewhere that's close to a drop off. Like hopefully the lake isn't go from zero to 30 feet in a long stretch. Hopefully it goes from like 
zero to 10 and then 10 to 30, I'd set somewhere just off of that 10 foot break out in that 30 feet and I'd fish them suspended. Probably. I, I'd look at fishing them suspended for sure. They're likely. Yeah. Will you be one of the God? Will you be the Godfather of my child? <laughs> yeah, I will. hundred percent. We're at the lake at the, at the lake at the ice fishing show in Winnipeg this year. Where I am. And this guy comes up to me and he's walking across and I'm like, I know that guy. And he goes, Clayton, do you know who I am? I says, yeah. I says, you're my godfather, Dave Shan. And he's like, how did you remember that? And I'm like, I just remember the face. He was my dad's best friend growing up through high school. And I remember him when, you know, I was little, 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 he moved away when I was like five, six years of age, but he was, uh, yeah, my, my, uh, my godfather and he couldn't believe I remember that I looked him right in the eyes and was like I I know exactly who you are so yes Dason I will be the godfather 100 <laughs> percent call me godfather Clayton just don't baptize during fishing season and you'll be golden yep exactly but when you're not so fishing close in April that's boat rigging season <laughs> boat rigging season I want to say that boat rigging do season. in May. Do you know what they're having? What do you shoot an average round of golf? Um, the best round I've shot was a 65. I'm anywhere from a 74 to a 68 ish. He, he's almost a scratch golfer, basically. Yeah. He's like a one two handicap, which is kind of what I was in high school, too. Do keep in mind our course, our course is relatively easy, I find. Like it's not the hardest course. Um, our course, mm -hmm. novel course, is really tough though because it has small greens. Small so greens. there's no sticking them on a green for the most part. Some of the greens, yes, they've improved, but like when I golf back in high school, like everything was like you have to shoot short of the green and roll it up. Like nothing would ever stick on the green ever. Somebody just asked if you know Murray. Murray. Oh, Where's the Murray Hoop Murray? You guys are talking about golfs. Murray. You know Murray. I don't know Murray who. I'm not sure who you. Are we still talking golf? Murray as in like Fish and More Murray. I don't know Fish and More Murray if that's who you're talking about. I know who he is, but I don't know him though. Clayton, what's your unicorn fish? Prop, uh, prop, like I'd say the Goliath, even though like the grouper that I caught, like obviously it's not like the biggest Goliath grouper out there, but to me that was probably probably one of the my unicorn fish i've ever caught though i'd say so we'll see what the comment room you know i'll i'll answer that question Jason. that's okay thoughts on clam even though you aren't sponsored you are sponsored by otter i'm actually not even partnering with otter anymore um clam makes a pretty good shelter of nothing to say bad about clam at all um the biggest thing with the clam flip overs is they have a more of a degree of an angle here where you don't have as much fishable space as you think you do. Clam has the worst. This is flip overs. And then otter is a little bit better. And then Eskimo is more like a 90 degree where you have so much more fishable space. Yes, they all say you have X amount of fishable space uh, space for square footage. But really, if it's, if it's like this and angled, that bottom little area there isn't really fishable because you can't even set a hook or get to it. So once they start squaring off, to me, that's when it's actually fishable. Clam makes a really good product. All of the shelters have caught up to themselves back in the day. So I have nothing poor or bad to say about the clam stuff at, at all. Um, I, I still believe that the Eskimo and the Otter product is, is, is up there in terms of the best. And I think clam is like right there. But anybody that has a clam, I've never ever, like they've never been disappointed with it. But that's most of the shelters. The biggest thing I can tell you is like, pay attention to somebody that's going to take care of you customer service wise. If you do have a problem, did that company take care of you? If they sloughed you off, well then screw them. So that, that's kind of how I feel. And if they sloughed you off, was that the only chance, you, was it the only thing you tried? Did you reach out again? Because sometimes your email could get to the wrong person where they didn't, they should have sent it to somebody else and they didn't or et cetera. So yeah, am I in Saskatchewan? I'm right on the Saskatchewan Manitoba border. Do I have TikTok? I have TikTok, but I post like one video like probably four times a year, I think. And my last video has like 2.2 .2 million views. Am I a TikToker now? Okay. I don't I'm know. A, I'm, I'm an Instagrammer. I'm a TikToker. I'm a TikToker. We're not getting a dog. Yet? 
Thanks for just crushing my night like that. <laughs> uh, best auger, I feel like, is the Alpha. I, I've i used them all, and I actually I haven't used the new Eskimo e, E40, but I'd say the Alpha is still the best auger out there, in my opinion. Remember, everything's IMO, in my opinion. <laughs> okay, read the comment. You can't just say it. Does, <laughs> does Noel have a sign when you drive into it that says, Home of Clean Chick, 100K subs <laughs> on YouTube yet? We didn't get it up today. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, that That's amazing. Um, yes, I know Scott Lake Lodge. Scott Lake Lodge is a great operation. <laughs> Clayton needs a chocolate lab. I agree. Home of Clean Chick. <laughs> I that is amazing. Oh. Thanks for putting me on to Big Smoke out of Winnipeg. Just got back from Lake Winnipeg. It was unreal. That's awesome, Carson. I can't wait to get out there. When's Cindy proposing to you? I know, right? I've been waiting for my ring for years. It's just not coming. Eskimo makes Ion. Eskimo doesn't make Ion. Artisan makes Ion. So, yes, but Artisan is like the parent company for everything. So, yes, they do. Golden Retriever, yes. Uh, it's either between a Chocolate Lab or a Golden Retriever. It really is. My last dog was a chocolate lab that I trained for hunting myself. And I would, it'd be hard for me not to get in a chocolate lab. Um, thoughts on Active Target. That when first at when Active Target first came out, they had the worst leg ever. Like I mean, like it was like you pop your jig and then all of a sudden the jig would move. Like it was like such a one or a two second delay. I believe since then they fixed since then they fixed it. I know there was a, a couple of videos out where you could see your bait from 90, 100 feet or 90, 100 feet out, no problem. And to me, that's the biggest thing. Like, even with the live scope, I like seeing my bait or the fish far away. I don't, when Mega Live first came out, I was like, the screen is so clear. It's so amazing. But it was so clear because you couldn't see anything. So, yes, it's clear. But what does that matter if you can't see anything? <laughs> so, anyways, okay, now what are you laughing at? I need to know. 63 years when you had a million subs, you can get it. <laughs> These people really listen. Eh? Clayton will be 104. <laughs> will you ever post on doing videos? Yes, I will. It's Clayton Schick Outdoors. I always made that for a reason. There wasn't just fishing or angling or anything like that because I do love to hunt. I do love to do other stuff. And there will be more hunting videos in the future for sure. You have such good fans. They're really funny. They are funny. I've had a clam voyager for seven years. I went to a clam HC in Rogers, Minnesota, and bought, even though it's not being made anymore, they support their products and help what they can. That see, that's that's awesome. Like I, I've always heard clam has good customer service service, and that's great. Have you ever fished the theater dam? I have not. New puppies are the thing for YouTube fishermen right now. Don't miss out on the trend. <laughs> I'll I'll wait till the trend dies and I'll bring it back again. We have a black and yellow labs. You need a chocolate. I, I know black and yellow chocolate. They're all amazing. The only reason I want a chocolate is because I had a chocolate before. Top top award comment goes to Ben. Did you fish Crooked Lake Derby last winter? I did not. Or last year, I did not. What about a golfing video? I cannot golf anymore. I would definitely shoot in the 90s now. I, go for shanks. I, I don't shank. <laughs> but I have like, I've swung like two clubs in the last like 10 years. When I when Car when I first met Carter and hung out type of thing, we went golfing and I think I beat you golfing a couple times. Yeah, I was fifteen. He was fifteen, but I beat him. But I hadn't fished for or golf for a long time. I don't know. I what's your PB vacuum sealed meat? Um, probably whitetail. Actually, Cam just gave me some moose the other day. I got some moose. I got a. I got a sirloin roast moose that we're going to slow cook here coming up. So, yeah, <laughs> I know. Cam, my buddy Cam was just over here the other day. and Eventually, he's going to make a video at some point. I was 15. <laughs> Biggest pike you've caught. Open water, 47. Through the ice is 46, I think. You ever met Sobe? I have met Sobe, yep. He came to um, Winnipeg one year with me. I was there. This is when Sobe was still filming for AP. He came up and I did the old hide hide the rod on him. And that's actually on on one of Alex's videos, I think. I don't think it's a Sobe video. I think it's an Alex video where they were fishing and Sobe went and took off and I hid Sobe's rod on him. 
And I was like, Sobe, Sobe, you're Rod, you're Rod, you're Rod. Oh, it's gone. And he came back and I had a book line sinker. Like he was convinced that one of Aaron's fish took Sobe's rod down the hole. Yeah, I got him. Like I'll have to find that video and post it. That was an old one. It's an old Alex Perrick video for sure. On over overnights, how do you not have the skirt freezing? Don't drill a lot around the hole. Like it drill your two holes, clean everything up, and then sometimes if I know there's a lot of water, I'll go out like once it just first starts to freeze when it gets cold, and I'll pop the skirt up, right? And then I'll just cover it up with snow that's not like wet. Use use snow, not slush, to cover in your shelter from the outside. If that makes sense. Clayton Shanko tours. That's awesome. Me and Jader's watching from the, the bunkhouse. Big maze is in the house. No <laughs> way. From the bunkhouse. Like fishing like, bunkhouse? No. Like, no. Oh, it's CN? Yeah. Oh, so you guys are working on uh, YouTube too, eh? I'm going to have oh, to talk to your boss. They're on rest. Though. Oh, on rest. I'm just kidding, Mason. When's Good to see ice, you, buddy. When's the ice fishing? Sobe last video is not the best. I haven't seen Sobe's last ice video. What's your favorite, ice or open water? Can I say open water and not get in trouble from all the people that love ice fishing? Biggest muskie you caught, 47 and a half. Who works CN? Not us. Just popped in. Huge congrats to Clayton. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Is there such thing as a, a big of a, as too big of a hub to camp with? If you're by yourself, yes, I think there is. Um, if you have too much room and it's really, really cold, it's hard to heat. I think that's the biggest thing. If it's nice out, there's no such thing as too big a hub. But if it's not nice out and it's really hard to heat, excuse me, then there is too big. PB Bull Trout, zero. Love your videos. Appreciate you watching very much. Videos are getting me through college. Well, I hope you're focusing on your college grades. That's what my parents would have said. No, my parents even wouldn't have said that. There they would have said, it's your money, you do what you want. Favorite animal to hunt? Probably whitetail, although I did have a really fun hunt with uh, mule deer a couple times, and uh, I enjoyed my animal hunt, but so far whitetail, I'd say. 200K will come a lot faster than 100K. I don't know, I think seven years. Seven years, 200K. Jay's already at like almost 160K. He's going to hit he is at 160. 160. He's going to hit 200 in a year, which is unbelievable that's so cool what's your favorite sport to fish in saskatchewan spot, spot? yes thanks that's why i got her um probably last mountain i'd say probably last mountain what was the question sir what's your biggest spot to fish in saskatchewan? your favorite yeah favorite last, spot. Mountain. last mountain monster lodge versus biggest biggest eskimo shelter i'm really happy with the 850 but Honestly, both of them are really good choices. I have no, I have nothing bad to say about the Monster Lodge at all. The new Eskimo 850, though, my last overnight was great. The, the biggest thing when it comes to like that stuff is whether you're like you can't decide between Eskimo or Otter. I'll tell you 100%, both make great products. Both of them have really good customer support. Now you can because you're a follower of Clayton Chick Outdoors, you can say who's the one that supports Clayton, and you can go with that shelter at that point. But both of them make a really good product. 63 year old 63 years goes faster than you think <laughs> when you come to lake winnipeg uh sometime in uh february and hopefully i'm thinking this is the same guy that hopefully i'll have a battery for you there too i'm pretty sure that would be would be you i recognize the last name the first name is different but i bet you had bought uh an, an ion g2 for me recently and i'll have a uh, battery for you Jason, good job cindy see you're watching out for me mm -hmm. It's good. What comes first, 150,000 subs or a ring? Uh, 300,000 subs. I think that would be a great time to wrap this chat up. <laughs> I appreciate everybody for watching. Um, and yeah, we're going to have another chat maybe maybe Saturday night even. It's a couple nights. Is that tomorrow? No, tomorrow's Friday. I know what day it is. We all work tomorrow. Maybe Saturday night we'll have another chat. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate everybody for for watching. Um, we're going to have a members-only chat for a little bit. I can't say it's going to be too long, a members-only chat. 
and uh, we'll chat for a little bit. But we'll be back again for a live chat again here probably Saturday because I do have another video coming out on Sunday again. So Saturday, Saturday night, we'll have another chat. I appreciate everybody hanging out. You guys are the best. Cheers, everybody. Take care. Bye.